Hey, what's up, guys? Mr. Shredify here, and today we're going to be discussing the tone of lasers. <laughs> All right, to kick things off, first off, I'd like to say thank you so so much, you guys, for the new support. And if you guys are new subscribers, then welcome to the channel because we're going to be doing a lot of covers and a bunch of other nonsense that I like to do from time to time. But uh, I've been having a lot of fun with the new Periphery uh, album, so it's been awesome. Uh, anyways, I know you, some of you have been asking for the Everything is Fine tones that I've used for the uh, Periphery cover of the same song. Um, and if you haven't checked it out, go ahead and check it out up here. It's, uh, I had a lot of fun learning it and with all the lasers and boinkle shit. One thing I would like to point out is that a lot of you guys are not subscribed to the channel and I would like to take this time to encourage you guys to do it. I'm going to be going over the tones over here with my axe edit because I think it's the best tool to be able to show you guys all the tones and lit literally the whole entire uh, pedal chain that I have in the digital software obviously for the axe effects. I'm going to be using the axe effects 3 that you can see on my right side over here. We're going to be using the PRS Mark Holcomb 7 string signature guitar that I used in the cover. Figured I might as well use the same gear that I had. But I'm going to skip over some of the basic functions that I have because I do have another video that goes into detail on that specific stuff like my cabs, um, my amp head, and my drive pedals and all that stuff. So all of that that I have in that video is pretty much the same that I have in here. It's I'm just going to briefly go over it really quick. It's just going to be basically a horizon precision drive that uh, Fractal actually added to their uh, software. It's going to be the FAS Modern amp that you have, and you can see my functions here. You can pause and just take a look at it. And for the cabs, I do have two. I have one of the Zilla cabs um, and one of the Gent cabs, and both are from ML Sound Lab. I have to buy those extra, but it's it's been great. Just. There's a couple of effects that Everything Is Fine uses throughout the song that you can tell. And a couple of them are the pitch shifter, the, um, uh, yeah, pitch shifter, two features actually. One is when it brings the whole tuning down for the last breakdown of the, you know, the songs at the end. And then there's also the pitch shifter, which is, you know, the wow, like this, for, for example. And then there's also the ra laser sound. But the laser sounds is the one that I think people don't know that much about. There, There's actually something here that you can see called the ring modulator. And it's in my lasers <laughs> scene here. Because as you can see, I'm, I can just show you guys my... Um, my pretty much pedal board down here. Because I do have the um, FC foot controller um, for the axe effects. So these are the scenes that I have for Everything is Fine. You can see my regular rhythm is the one that I use for the entirety of the song. And then we have the lasers. And then we also have the low tuning, which is for the first section of the breakdown. And then the low second. can see when I go to the regular uh, my pitch shifter this one right here actually is the one that kind of moves around oh wait wrong one this one <laughs> you can see it's been in the advanced whammy feature and I kind of set it up so that I could control it myself with the FC pedal one uh, just going into a little bit of detail just basically I control the how much the pitch goes up So that's, that's a full octave right there, and I can kind of go in the middle. This one is the one that you kind of go into the specific standard tones, like... So this one I bring it down by three um, half tones. Um, because that's how much it goes down in the tuning. And then for the second one, it goes down to um, eight, pretty much, half tones right there. So it would be the equivalent of... C, I believe, because the original tuning is drop A flat. 
the one that is the tricky one is the lasers. Now for this one, you, you I actually use a ring modulator, which I got graciously by the awesome Zach Minowitz. If you guys do not know him, you should definitely check him out on Instagram. Um, I'll definitely put a link in the description for you guys to check him out because he's the one that actually created that. He was gracious enough to give it to his followers, basically. And uh, that's I kind of like borrowed it from him and put it in, in this in my uh, tones here. What this does, it, it, it alternates the pitches from the guitars itself and kind of puts a little extra waves in there. Those are basically the ones that they use. So like, let's say, for example. But aside from that, I actually am going to be putting my entire tone chain here in the description for UX effects users out there. I just have to figure it out how to do it, but I'll figure it out by the time I upload this. I appreciate you guys for hanging out and uh, watching the whole video, if you did, or if you skipped to the end, then Monty, man, you better subscribe. I, I, I'm serious. I'm, I'm going to put the tag right here. There. You have to do it now. If you guys haven't checked out the videos, they're all right here. Check them out. There's the uh, wax wing cover that I just did. There's the everything is fine that I just did. And then there's the thanks noble one that I did before, too. So. Go ahead and check them out and I hope you guys have a good one. See ya.